Good morning, y'all. Okay, I literally just opened my eyes and I've been procrastinating on doing this makeup video. Y'all pay no attention to the fact that I have no pillowcases on. I just washed my pillowcases and everything, but I'm about to get started on this makeup video for y'all. Before I get started, um, I just want to say like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Also, my new glosses are on my website page. Um, the lashes I will be using in this video are from my collection, which will also be linked in my description box below. And the sugar scrubs will be linked in my description box below as well. Let's get into the makeup video. Okay, before I get started, I just want to say that before I start on my makeup, um, I'm about to wash my face because it was looking real crusty. And I'm about to go in and with my Equate Beauty um, foaming scrub is compared to Neutrogena. I have done a makeup removing video uh, with me using this. So I'm just use this real quick and then I'm going to come back on camera and let's get started. Hi. Huh? Okay, so good morning, y'all. I hope y'all can see me okay and everything. This is going to be... Hold on, I need to prop my phone up on something. Okay, that's a lot better. This is going to be a um, story time slash get ready with me, I guess you could say. So, um... Yeah. Okay, really quick. Let me make sure I have everything right here. Everything that I need for the moment right here. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for clicking on this video and watching me do my makeup. I have not done my makeup in a while. Um, you know, a lot of people have been asking me to start up doing makeup again and really because i was getting really good at it i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i was getting really good at doing my makeup and i'm not a pro but there are certain things that i know how to do you know i know how to make my face look flattering to to fit what i like so um with that being said we're just gonna get started right into the video I hope y'all can see me okay. I hope it's not too bright or too dark. And I might need to prop my phone up on something else too. Hold on. Okay, that is a lot better because... Okay, now I hope y'all can see me okay. So, um, I know one of my subscribers wanted me to do a part two of my Sugar Daddy story time, right? Of me, um of the person who i used to drive the boat with and to be honest with y'all i'm not even gonna call that actually i'm gonna say that story for something else let me i'm gonna say that story for something else so what's going on job and i'm getting it's your girl dramatic key and we are here today with a new video i didn't say i'm back at you with something <laughs> so good morning y'all i'm gonna do my makeup today a lot of y'all have been asking me to start back doing my makeup. If you are an OG from my channel, you know, I used to make makeup videos, but sadly, I deleted a lot of my makeup videos. Um, I would never delete anything off my channel again because I actually regret it. I was trying to revamp and I wanted to start vlogging, but I don't do anything for me to be vlogging every day like that. So... Today, I'm going to be doing a story time slash advice kind of thing on what they don't tell you about cosmetology school. And I'm going to be telling you how to grow your clientele, build your brand, and grow social media, and just overall building a system. First, I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. My face has been cleansed. Um, I have a white head right here that's trying to pop and everything. But I'm going to just start off with my brows, okay? So... When I was in cosmetology school, um, don't get me wrong, it was fun. And I remember before I even went to cosmetology school, a lot of people were saying that, you know, it's it's for everybody. Anybody can do this and anybody can do hair. Anybody can do yada, yada, yada. Okay, I'm here to tell you that that is a lie. Okay, 
you don't necessarily have to have skills going into that into cosmetology school but you have to have a, a people person personality okay um you have to have good salesmanship because you're selling yourself to get a client and okay. you have to uh, I would suggest before you go into cosmetology school, if you don't have like a good support system, especially if you're not getting financial aid um, where they pay you back every semester, the extra money that you have, I would suggest that, you know, you save up some money from work or get you like a good family member that's willing to, you know, sponsor you throughout your time of being in school and pretty much just helping you with stuff, um, especially like if you have your own place or if you have kids, you're going to need help with all of those things, okay? You're going to be missing time from your kids. Um, you're going to be missing out on a lot of family activities. You're going to be in school a lot, to say the least, okay? Because cosmetology school is not like regular school. It's not easy as everybody thinks. It's not hard though but the only thing that makes it hard is the fact that you have to be there every day like you can't um you can't miss days of school okay that's the only thing because it runs off of clock hours and you need those clock hour times in order for you to get your certificate and graduate um so when i was in cosmetology school it was peachy but I know we had a lot of people that had, um, a lot of people were quitting and leaving really quickly due to them being stressed out about certain situations or not being able to work and make money like they really wanted to. Because that's another thing. You're not going to be able to, I hear my brow stuff. You're not going to be able to really work like you want to for the simple fact of the time situation. So, a lot of people were getting frustrated with that, and some people quit on the first week. Um, we had one guy who was in our cosmetology photo. He came for the first day, and then he never came back after the first day. Um, I know when I was going to school, I was going, when I started out in my beginner's course, it was Monday through Thursday, and then it was on Saturday as well, and... Because of those times, like, I had to work a part-time job, right? So, I had tried a different couple of jobs, and there was nothing that really fit my schedule. So, while I was in cosmetology school, I ended up getting my security license, and I started doing security for a while, right? Did it for two years, right? Because it was the only thing that worked with my schedule, so, um, because it doesn't, you're going to have to find you like a good part-time job because you working a full-time job, it's not going to work out. I'm just being honest with you. But my overall experience was pretty good, to be honest with you. But like I said, it was so many people leaving and quitting. Um, it wasn't everything that I expected it to be. I guess going into, I expected cosmetology to be like, play 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 yeah that's that's not the situation when you're in cosmetology school it's something that you you have to really want is you have to take it seriously one thing i regret while being in there is um i had started my instagram page right and um on my instagram page i was starting off showing my journey from you know from the first day we got our kids to you know, the first class pictures I had took with everybody. And I used to post, like, when I used to do my mannequin heads, all of my roller sets, anytime we learned how to color, anything. I used to post all of that stuff on my page. And because, to me, I felt like my page wasn't growing, I had stopped posting stuff on it. And I actually ended up turning that page into a different page after I got out of cosmetology school. But I wasn't consistent with it. So my biggest advice to anybody, especially now, like if I would have known then what I have known now, I probably, like not probably, I would have been a lot more successful when it comes to social media. Um, I had even started my YouTube channel around this time. That's why I had started doing makeup videos on my YouTube channel when I first began because I was in cosmetology when I started, like really started my page. So, 
if I want to know then what I know now, like, I would have stayed consistent on my pages and everything. And I would just kept posting all of my growth because people want to see that. And not only them, when you start getting better at stuff that you do because you start doing it more, you're going to want to see where you started off at. You know, I like going through my photos and seeing some of my old pictures from when I was doing roller sets on mannequins to the first roller set I ever did on a person to, you know, doing my first weave set or something like that, you know, cause I never, I never, um, I didn't do weave until, until I started doing hair, really. I remember my friends used to ask me to do certain stuff and I used to be like, oh yeah, I know how to do that and didn't know what the heck I was doing, but I never turned down a client. That's another thing, never turn down a client. Like, even if you have to watch a YouTube video to get something right before you see that client, just never, ever turn down a client. So, right now, I'm just concealing my brows, going all the way around them and everything. I really don't have to go around the top, but I'm going to probably go around it anyways. I'm going to tell y'all a trick, too. When you're going around the top of your eyebrows, it's safe to go around the top with the color foundation that you're going to be using. Um, because it just blends your brows a lot better. But I'm not doing that today. I'm going to just use the same concealer that I was just using. And I'm just go with them bad boys. While you're in school, start trying to grow, grow your clientele. Like, take school serious. I wish that I would have taken um, cosmetology school a lot more seriously. I wish that I would have been like... Now, I can't say sit here and act like I wasn't out passing out cards and stuff because I was. I was actually the only person in my class, well, one of the only people in my class who had business cards. Um, and I have a set of my first business cards. They are, they might be in here. No, I think they're in my closet. I have a set of my first business cards that I had ever gotten made when I was in um, school. And I had to put the school address on it. And I put on my card, uh, you no, know, the first time I didn't put student stylist. I just put, you know, hairstylist. And then the second time, because I was talking to, well, one of my cousins, she was mentoring me. And I actually used to go back and forth and be her shampoo girl and learn how to do hair and stuff from her, watching her. And she had told me to just put on my card, student stylist. So when I had revamped my business cards for the second time, I put on the go student stylus, meaning that I was willing to travel and come to people's houses and stuff, you know, but um, another thing, like when I first started off, I didn't really charge anything like that, especially for stuff that I knew I couldn't like do the right way. Like I wasn't about to charge people a hundred dollars or nothing for a sewing or a quick weave. When I know darn well, I'm still trying to fit. You know, I'm still trying to learn. So, I think back then, like, my sewings used to be, like, $35, $45. You know, it was really, really cheap. Like, dirt cheap, in fact. And one thing, one I, thing I wish I learned from that experience was um, charge your worth and just practice. You know, practice makes perfect. 